thought you could use my voice in my dog's head. I have to be true to my heart. Um, I can't. I can't paint like anybody else. I have to be okay with where I'm at. I, I'm pretty critical of what I do. I take it very seriously, but I'm passionate about it. Um, I'm hopelessly addicted. I need, <laughs> I need to paint. <laughs> um, I don't paint quickly by any means. Um, I may not be done with this for six months, but that's okay. I just do layer by layer, I put it away for a while, come back to it, and pretty soon it starts to come close to what I want. Quiet would describe some of my paintings. My hope, I guess, quiet, peaceful. You know, the colors that I seek um, are, are soft, um, but there's the strength that I try to bring out. I guess I'd like to become a little quicker, but I'm not going to push that. Um, you know, I, I work slowly and methodically and thoughtfully and lovingly. Color, I think, is, I don't want to say it's secondary, but it is in a way. I think I try to look at a painting as a whole almost in values. My goal is to um, create a very sort of very romantic quiet mood um, where one would want to go into the field and just sit um, to want not necessarily go there but um, just to feel the moment. I'm sometimes intimidated by what I see, but I have an intense need to record it because it will never be the same. I'm still in training. Um, you know, it's, I think um, what I'm liking best with the idea of um, the fall foliage tours that um, the sec only the second time I've done it, but it gives people the chance to see where I've come in a year. You know, I'm not accomplished, but I have accomplished a great deal. You know, each year it'll be, I grew, you know, as long as I'm growing, that's what's important to me.